Hey, baby. I know. I know. It's hard living with goats. I know. Papa. They're not. They're not normal. Papa. They're just not normal people. Johnny is. Johnny's normal. Johnny will be a sweet boy. Moki will be okay. There's a few of them. There's a few of them. And these chickens, chickens will treat you right, okay? But all my, all my uh, squash and peelings and stuff, cucumbers down here for the chickens. They'll clean them right up. That's my girl. That's my, that's my little girl right here. She's a good girl, Popo. A good girl. Tries to be a good girl. Johnny, listen. I want you to act right with her, okay? Do not teach bad lessons. I do not want to see her on the hen house, okay? I'm serious. I'm serious, Johnny. All right, I got a project here this morning. Uh, this is Breeze golf cart. Y'all have seen her in it before. The batteries are no good. I'm going to change them out. Oh, Lord, Papa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at this stuff. Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take several pictures of it with my, kit, with my phone. And then I'll take... Probably you got to take his front row out first before you get the back row out. So I'll take a picture because all these are going to be taken out before I get these out. And those have to be put back in first, and these last. That's, that's my issue today. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna probably go get my little stool so I can kind of sit here now and then take a break. You know how I like breaks. I love a break. You know, there's nothing better than taking a break. Uh, well, we had an early day. Uh, I'm sorry. We had an early day today. Uh, Lex was able to come back with his dad yesterday. Uh, he got early dismissal because they had awards day, and his dad went. And his mom said he could come up and spend the night if we could bring him back for school today. They get out tomorrow. So we said, yes, bring him on. Lester's trying to finish his cattle guard, I'm guessing. I think uh, Dan is going up this afternoon to try to help him a little bit. I want to try to go up myself. We got a bad cable. This cable here, guys, is broke off from here. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be. No, maybe not. Not sure what this does. I think that, no, no, that thing don't do is go to that. Okay, I'm figuring this thing out real quick. This is one end, got a little plug in it. And this is the other end with a plug in it. I don't know what that was for. Maybe if you want to attach something new. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get busy with this stuff. Oh, and I think me and she going to try to drive up this afternoon also and see if we can't lend a little help in hand. All right, I'm going to get busy with this stuff. Give me something. He's talking about heavy. I have no idea what these batteries weigh. But they're heavy. And I'll have to take them down uh, and put them on a pallet. And where Kelby comes to pick up that scrap iron, he can pick them up. Uh, those batteries are no good. But they can be re... What's, what's the word? Uh, rebuilt or whatever. Anyway, they'll take them back in. Old batteries, they take them back and Refurbish them. Is that the word? Refurbish them. Make them, make them good again. I have no idea if they're ever really as good as the first ones that they actually make, but they do refurbish them. So if you take them old batteries and turn them into those core, core samples, I'm guessing that's what they do. Well, they may break them down, tear them down, and just save certain parts out of them. I don't know. They may not re do anything to them. Just crush them and use the, the plastic part for other things, fence posts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 
We we bought some fence posts one time, like three inch rounds, five or six foot long, made out of plastic. My dad wanted to try them. Well, they lasted okay, except for, you know, the bulls could break them off at the ground. <laughs> but it was hard to drive a staple in them. Gosh, you stand there and bang on that thing forever. It seemed like we got a staple in it. And they were built out of old reused plastic. Stuff like that right there. All right, now I'm gonna get busy, get this last one out of here, and I'm gonna take a break. Okay, they're all out. And I'm gonna clean it all up in here a little bit first. What I did, this is the way the cables come off. And now I also took photographs, okay? So I'm not a complete loss. Uh, I know how they go. And this is the back row here. And there's two weather wires that will come in at the front that they're attached to the to the motor and stuff so and on both sides so they're laid off to one side i know how they go but what i did over here you know some not negatives one direction and positives another so what i did this is the first row front row and this is exactly how they come out one, two, and three, exactly. So I'll put the, but the back row has to go in first. You know, this is exactly how they come out, one, two, and three. And I'll put them in where the positive is here in the front on this one battery here. But see over here, it's turned around and it's negative. And it's negative on the far one, on the far side. So I'll make sure when I put the new ones in, I'll put them in, those two negatives forward and one on my side, on the driver's side, will be positive forward. And then when I put the front ones in, the front post on the far side is positive. The second one is positive. And all three of these all have positive toward the front. If you got confused and you didn't pay attention, you start putting them all in like this, well, look what's going to happen when you get over here. And you'd have these two backwards and it wouldn't work It'd probably burn something up so i've got it laid out like they go and i'm taking my time they're heavy i have no idea what they weigh they tough on the knees i can lift them okay with my arms and shoulders but walking over here whoo them knees <laughs> all right i'm gonna take all a right break guys, i drove it over there it drives good that's got to be washed i parked it next to my water hose and my hammock I may use both hammock and water hose. <laughs> I'm going to wash it for a little while. I'm going to go take a break and get something to eat. All right, catch you guys later. Got it going. Well, what happened is the batteries were all bad in that place that supposedly, Bree, uh, where she got, they supposedly was going to replace them. They decided against it. <laughs> so Bree's a little upset with them people. So G said, look, Papa, I'll buy the new batteries for it, and I'll take over the note. Because Breeze is going to give it back to him. And uh, so that's what we did. And that's what I'm show you what I did. Uh, come out pretty good. All new batteries, all. And these little red and green deals, supposed to keep down at, uh, corrosion. Now, these wires right here have bad ends on them. And I was very delicate with them, trying to scrape off the corrosion. They'll have to be replaced, those three little wires there. They're not going to last long. The rest of them are all in good shape. And uh, anyway, there it is. It runs good. I'll get it cleaned up there for the wash job. Take some, get this mold off this seat and off the windows here make it look new make it look new for og and she can go ride she told me let's do some tell you what she says i would love to go back in the back and find a nice quiet place to do my chat with Gigi. that's what i think that's sweet baby do not get underneath my big tree that's my tree g that's where i do my chats <laughs> i'm just joking you welcome to that's a great place to sit but i tell you what's gonna happen between you and me she's gonna be back there sitting 
either Ivan's going to go messing with her, pick it on her, or Moses, or Miracle, <laughs> or Zippy. Somebody's going to come up there, pick it on her. And she's going to come right back. What's wrong with them animals back there messing with me? Well, gee, that's what we do. We mess with each other. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give you something. Right. Yes. There's nothing back there right now for you. I'll bring you something here in a minute. Uh, yes, I got a little project here. Uh, hide in myself, Kippy, wherever he's at. Kind of back in the old barn, we got an old pile of hay that they're threading on. It's down in the dirt, but it will burn. Not really burn, but more or less smolder once it kind of burns off the top. And it will fill this whole area here with smoke. And in doing so, it'll run all the mosquitoes, flies away. And I guarantee you these animals will all lay out here around this thing tonight. Some of them, once the fire goes out completely, will lay in it. And you know Ivan will be rolling in it by tomorrow. So I'm gonna set this on fire. But everybody comes to the top of the hill at night. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. guys talking trash to each other over there. Yeah. And anyway, let me get me a... Ivan, there's nothing in that bag, son. I told you. There's nothing back here for you. I'll bring you some snacks in a minute. Same with you, Kippy. Let me zippy. Kippy, I got you confused with zippy. Oh, too many Kippies and zippies. Okay. This won't burn, burn like you would think. But it will, the edge. And sometimes cows get almost like right up in it because they know it's gonna drive all the bugs off. Hey, baby, that's my girl. Don't be bad to Papa. She likes to butt. She likes to butt Papa. It's been a, a, a slow day today. I say slow. It started off early. We got up at five o'clock this morning, took Lex back to school and we're going to do the same thing tomorrow morning he had an award ceremony today at noon so his dad was able to go for that and then got out of school early and bring him home and uh and we said we'd be glad to take him back again tomorrow morning uh, actually this morning it was easy traffic i Normally run it a little bit of places where it gets kind of congested, but for a Monday morning, it was pretty easy. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sit here, and I was going to mess around here and talk a little trash to him, show him he's boss. You know, this thing gets smoking pretty good. What's up, Ivan? I love you, Ivan. You see, you got to be bossy. Here he comes. Here he comes. You shove her out of the way. <laughs> That's right. Shove him out of the way, buddy boy. You shove him out of the way. He like a little bulldozer. Just, just starts plowing into him. All right, we're just going to sit here and watch this for a little bit, guys. Once it burns down and just smokes, then we'll uh, head back up to the house. But uh, I'm, I'm going to stay as long as there's an open flame going. <clears throat> I love you, baby girl. Nah, don't you ah, ah miracle i'm serious i'm serious don't you dare start that that button baby let me get back on here see she's gonna start button me honey watch her no <laughs> thank you thank you zip zip says no you leave my papa alone zippy come up made her back up and leave me alone she's butting my leg see see ha 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 Zippy says, no, ma'am, not to her papa. <laughs> we got a little bit of burn on this side over here. Uh, my dad would take an old tub, an old wash tub, and, and set it inside the barn and put loose hay, big armful of loose hay. It wasn't no good. It got wet or molded or whatever, and, and it would... 
set on fire and it would stay inside that wash tub on that dirt ground floor on that dirt floor and it wouldn't spread and it would just smoke that whole barn up the whole barn would get smoked up and and the cows would just go in there and lay all up in there and there'd never be the first bug come in there and bother them and i've done the same thing at different times and uh but when there's no mound like this right here is laying out here and the cows that's where they come at night they all lay up out here around this barn at night my will burn it and put some smoke out and kill two birds with one stone now uh, while i'm saying it talk about cows let's talk about miracle for a minute miracle has matured a whole lot since myra was born uh She's showing a little interest in Moses, and I've debated. Uh, I pinned her off the last time she was showing this interest, but I, I noticed she's taken up with the cows more. Her and I, even though they graze together almost all day long, she hangs out with the cows in the evening. And I think she's maturing. So I'm going to give her another chance. If she comes into season again, I think I'm going to go ahead and let Moses and her uh, romance a little bit. And if she does a second calf like she did Myra, then, then that's, I guess there's really no, no way to leave her as a cow, you know, as a, as a herd cow. She just has to be separated you know, from, from at least from a bull, <clears throat> from a bull, from that point on, I guess. I believe she'll do better with the next one. She's, she's maturing. Uh, I've seen her with uh, Billie Jean when Billie Jean was still young back to pasture. Uh, not let her nurse nothing like that, but, you know, hang out, even lick Billie Jean a little bit, kind of, you know, cows lick each other. I don't know if they, is that some kind of a friendship thing or uh, I don't know, but so she's not the little young crazy thing she was when she had uh, Myra. I don't, I don't think I could be wrong, but so I'm going to take that chance. And like I say, if, if it's, if it's the wrong call, then, I'll put it on a bottle and just not let her do that ever again. I think it's what I have to do. Right, Ivy? Ivy thinks so? Ivy says he thinks that's the way it's got to be, Papa. I love this boy. Oh, he can be a pain, guys. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all know he can. He don't mean to be, Papa. He don't mean to be bad. <laughs> yeah, right. The the funniest thing about Ivan is not really funny in a way. Is he'll come up to you and he'll bury his little head, his little face into your tummy, and he just like bulldoze his way into you. Then he'll turn and rub as hard as he can down you. And then throw his little hips into you. And, and even sometimes you back up and shove you backwards into a fence. And I, I think that's just being a bully. I mean, you're being a bully. You're throwing your weight around and saying, look what I can do, Papa. Oh, here we go. I, I'm talking about you. So I, I'm so sorry. I don't mean talk about you. I love you, though. I love you. It's about to go out.